What's up, family? Today we're going to be talking about men protecting their peace in this dating market right here. So, as of late, men really have been protecting their peace, man, not settling and just standing up for themselves and just not going for anything in the dating world. So, with that being said, it creates the domino effect, right? So now you got women that's begging for the real men to come out, but the men that they don't really want, but they have been dating, they have damaged them. So it just leads to an everlasting cycle. So really, number one reason I would say why men have been protecting their peace is for emotional health. So if you just think about it, emotional health is so important. And I know like women always talk about emotional health, but men, your mental health matters too, man. And you know, men are really just prioritizing their emotional health, their well-being, and seeking relationships that aren't toxic. That's just simple, man. Because how are you going to protect your peace if you're in a relationship that's toxic? It's just not possible. So when you seek better relationships and you seek a better partner, it transforms your emotional health. And... Think about it. If you've been involved in um, toxic relationships before, no one really wants to go back to that. Honestly, no one wants to go back to that. It's toxic for a reason. You love for a reason. It may have got physical. Who knows what may have happened in your life with that toxic relationship. But that's something that you probably elevated from and evolved from and you grew from. And you don't want to step backwards and going back in the wrong direction, okay? So another one is like, number two is just the state of mind of being independent. And I know what you mean. How does that correlate with men not really settling in the dating market? Hear me out, hear me out. When men are with women or dating women, just be real. Females, you watching this, men, if you watching this, some of your independence, it really goes out the window, honestly. Think about if when you were single, you used to cook every night or you used to do certain things, do your own laundry. Now you got a girl, man, and just just naturally, she's probably taking over that role for you. So now you just lose some form of independence. Now, granted, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just giving reasons of why some men are probably just staying single. They don't really probably want to lose that because think think about it. Dating in this modern society, it comes with unrealistic expectations for one and commitments that can just make you feel restrictive. Like that's very, very true. Like some people, their independence and their freedom, it just outweighs having a partner. So in their head, they're just thinking like, man, look, I'm not going to do it. It's not worth it to me. I'm not about to allow my freedom to leave for that. So some people, they just don't desire the relationship from that standpoint. So they don't want to compromise that person to go all the time. Because think about it. If you've dated someone that tells you you work too much, you don't make enough time for me, but she know you chasing your purpose. Like who wants to deal with that? I have I've dealt with that before, man. No one wants to deal with that right now like we're young like we're all chasing our purpose we're all chasing our goals the thing is everyone thinks they just forget that we're young like we all have a purpose we all have 24 hours think about it even though we're in a partner even though we're relationship partners guess what we're still individuals at the end of the day you're individuals first so you are an individual first before you join your relationship so if you're not happy yourself, it affects the relationship. And people really don't realize that they just think of me, 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 me. And so that goes back to the next one, which is just not being smart when it comes to decisions, man. L living in an illusion, like not being true to what's going on in the world, in the dating scene. And that's why a lot of men don't want to get involved also because they know like, the market is messed up. Everyone is living this social media lifestyle. Everyone thinks 
You're supposed to go outside every weekend. Everyone thinks you're supposed to be in the club, popping bottles every weekend, taking a trip to Bali every two weeks. Like, that's the lifestyle they think. Like, they think that's realistic. They think that's sustainable. That's not realistic. Like, and I'm not even saying it can't be done. That's not what I mean by realistic. It just means that, like, while you're in a relationship, it's not going to be peaches and cream 24 7. It's not going to be like that in the relationship 24 7. You're going to have seasons. As human beings, we all have seasons. There's no human in the world that doesn't have seasons. So, for me, those type of things just like bring out false hope into thinking that it's going to be like that. And that's why some people just don't want to date. Like, think about it. Men probably don't want to feel overwhelmed or frustrated that they're not doing enough you've heard people say that right because they don't even think it's females out here that'll stay down with them while they coming up like i'm not gonna lie if i was coming up when i was going through my coming up journey i went and if i had this pool of women man i wouldn't dare talk to one because just be real like some men really think and it's sad that we think like this but some of us really think like you just gonna leave us for whoever winning but the thing is it's so awkward because once they get that person they're still going to complain so some men just feel like you never can keep a woman happy so look man there's so many things and that's why they protect their peace some people think oh men are just staying single so they can just talk to every female in the world honestly look Every man doesn't even talk to every woman in the world. They probably turn down women, probably hard to reach. Like how females say, I'm hard to reach. Men probably be that way too. Like sometimes men really don't want their energy to be disturbed when they're on their purpose, man. And then they just don't want that fear of repetition of like past mistakes. So if they learned from something in the past, they dealt with something in the past that helped them grow and they grew up as a person, they know like, man, this happened. I don't want this to happen again. So this is what I need to do to avoid those mistakes again. So that's what they do. That's what they do. So you got to remember that. And then, look, man, I know we going, but I'm going to keep going. When you're on your financial journey and your career journey, sometimes partners doesn't align with what you do. Like if you're an investor, if you're a saver, but you with somebody that's a consumer, they don't know how to save, they don't know how to budget, man. How can you make that work? Like, how can you make that work? How can you make that work? You took all the load of them paying bills and they can't even save a thousand dollars. Like that doesn't make sense in an adult world. That doesn't make sense. Like, how can you be my partner if something happens to me? I can't depend on you. If y'all know that answer, just tell me. But that's what some men thinking, man. Like. Our priorities are different. Like, you worried about being outside looking good for the gram. I'm worried about looking good in real life, making sure we're well taken care of. I can miss that Jordan run. I can miss that Gucci purse if I know it's going to put us ahead in six months that we can buy three Gucci purses. But nah, you just got to have that Gucci purse right now, even though we don't have the funds for it right now. Or even if it's not the best financial decision right now. Those are the people you want to stay away from because those are the people that think, I work too hard. I got to do it. No, you don't. You don't have to do it right now. You don't have to do it right now. You can wait one more month. I promise that bag is still going to hit the same. And once you get it, you probably don't even care about it. Honestly and truthfully, you won't care. So that's another one. Look, men with their masculine energy, they feel like, man, a lot of women nowadays, they want to be masculine. Now, granted, it's other men out here that mess that up. Because there's other men out here that do act like females. So I understand that part. But me personally, my perception and my take on it is a woman is supposed to be in a feminine energy all the time. And if they have to change that, I just feel like they should leave. I don't think they should match a man's energy. I just don't think that's supposed to be true. Like, you're supposed to leave. It's just like me. If I'm talking to a woman that has masculine energy... I'm not going to gain feminine energy. I'm just going to leave and go find me somebody that has feminine energy. It's just no way I can do that. Like some people say, oh, you got to put me, how do I, like, I get it. I get exactly what you mean, but just come back to what I just said. 
if you just walk away, I wouldn't have to put you in it. That's something that you're always supposed to be in. And if someone is stopping you from being in that energy, as you say, leave. But if you're going to stay with somebody, you should be yourself, which is that energy. Because what women don't realize is when they try to scoop down to the next person level or try to match energy, they're degrading themselves. So that's basically what I'm saying. Don't degrade yourself. It's like me as a man, like, if I'm not agreeing with the woman is doing and she's being masculine, I'm not about to go act like a female. That's not what I'm about to do because I'm a man. So I can't go act like a female. So that's all I mean. Like, don't degrade yourself. Remember who you are first. As long as you remember who you are, you will do those things and move accordingly at all times. So look, man, keep going, man. Don't get influenced by the culture. Don't get influenced by social media traveling and everything else that's going on in the world that make you think you're successful, man. You're doing good. You are a great couple. You are a great goddamn individual. Like, just keep doing you. So, again, that's why men are just pretty much just standing in their lane right now. Like, man, it's, I know so many people, man, that really just single right now. I don't really remember it being this many people when I was growing up. Everybody was always in happy relationships, but the pool, the mindset of people, the mindset of women and men have changed to where it affects everyone. So even the men that's not really doing that thing that has wrong intentions, they corrupt the good females out here. That then corrupt the good men. And it's, that's why I just said it's a everlasting cycle, man. So look, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Go like. Go share, go subscribe, man. We're almost to 1K, man. Daughter family. See y'all next time, baby.